I'm Tuffy Stone, and this is the British Freestyle Barbecue Championships in Malden here in the United Kingdom. I've done a lot of competition when it comes to cooking barbecue, and this contest is, is very different. When they say freestyle, they mean freestyle. There's gonna be four protein categories, but like ribs, it can be any rib that you want. The interpretation of how you do that is very loose. They're gonna be turning in four categories. They can put it on whatever platter plate that they want. They can do it in any style, any presentation. It's gonna be really interesting to get a glimpse into how they cook, what they cook, and what it looks like when they turn it in. What's really exciting about this format, it, it's new, it's a, it's a whole different look on competitive cooking with fire. And I think the absence of these uh, confined rules and allowing these cooks to be creative has made it so popular and why it's growing so much. My name's Nick and I cook with my wife Tracy and we're the Wonky Donkeys barbecue team. And we're cooking here at the Smoke and Fire Festival for the British Open Barbecue Championships. Freestyle concept is completely open. You can present your food in exactly the way you want to. So if you want to put it like you would do at home, you'd put it on, say, like a big platter for your family. Rather than it being in like a box, it's more, more open. It's more open to you to interpret whatever you want to do and make it more interesting. For our pork round today, we're doing a, a pork cheek, which has been slowly cooked. That was done like overnight. And we're doing that on a cauliflower and cheese puree. And then next to that, we're doing two cuts of pork on the same dish. So we're doing a piece of pork belly, and that's with pork and apple sauce, sort of help cut through the fat. That'll be served on like a small individual plate, and we'll do six of those plates, you know, for the judges. I'll be honest and say that of my four dishes today, my pork is the one I'm most worried about. <laughs> Definitely. I, I think actually the pork could be our weakest dish. Good morning, I'm Mel Moore. I'm one half of Old Man Moore Barbecue Team. Uh, my husband makes up the other half, so that's Gareth. So we, we've competed across quite a, a different range or broad range of um, sort of barbecue competitions. So we started with KCBS a few years back, uh, followed a few teams, especially our neighbors, and got into that. Um, and we've kind of branched out a little bit. Um, so this is freestyle. It's quite different, so uh, whereas other competitions can be quite strict with what they want and some of the flavour profiles that they use, this, this is really different for us. It can really allow us to be quite creative with what we do. I'm very much an indoor cook moved outside, so that works really well for us. Ribs were always, always our sort of nemesis in the past for KCBS certainly, so we've used this opportunity um, to be a little bit more creative and, 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 and play with that a little bit. So we've got similar flavour profile, but obviously without the sauces and things like that, but using the rubs and, and the wrapping and things like that. But we're off the bone, they're cooked um, and they've been resting overnight in a mix because we're going to incorporate them into some, like a croquetta. Yeah, so we've got, we've got the base of that ready um, and we're going we're gonna to deep fry on barbecue today. So there you go, that's different for you. The ribs are off there, so even though it looks like the thing you've done to the creativity and skill of the barbecue teams. So my name is John Bingley, our team is called the Korean Cowgirl and the team is made up of myself and our head pitmaster Andy as well. This is our first competition here at the Championships at the Smoke and Fire Festival. I find this, this event really sort of unique. It's been nice to be welcomed into like a nice community. Everybody seems, has come and said hello and vice versa and things like that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice sort of, uh, yeah, really good environment. Today we're going to be cooking turkey Texas style for our bird option. We've previously brined our turkey breast overnight, so we give it a 12 hour brine. We've then sort of mustard, uh, just as we work as a little bit of a binder, uh, then a nice salt and pepper rub. Uh, we're going to be cooking over oak today as well on our offset smoker and then we then sitting in a butter bath and then we'll take that internal temperature to where where we want it and then leave it resting nice and so it's like super juicy inside that's the aim of the game 
So presentation, we are going to slice the turkey quite thinly. We've made a really nice sort of uh, apple and smoked celeriac remoulade. Uh, and then I'm going to do a maple lard on whiskey sauce as well. So we've got some jack in there as well. And then we're going to reduce it down so it goes nice and sticky. Yeah, and then we're just going to put that all on sort of top. So that'll be the garnish. Definitely like to sort of lift some sort of trophy uh, at some point today, 100%. We've, we've come here that we want to we wanna do well, you know? So yeah, we're, we're feeling confident. Hello, my name's Larry, and our team is Commander Bonner, barbecue team. Our team is made of uh, head cook David, myself as well, one of the uh, top cooks, Solinta from Ireland, and my wife Wilma, she's a very good assistant. <laughs> Today we're cooking at the British Barbecue Freestyle Championship in Malden, and the beef round actually we're doing big USDA Snake River Farms uh, Tomahawks. Tomahawks gonna, gonna be seasoned simple salt, pepper, and on top, bone marrow and butter, and some other secret rubs in it. British Barbecue uh, Freestyle Champions allows you to be creative, basically bring all your minds together, create some wonderful dishes, and to be honest, everyone can do it, as we can do it, and you can do it too. Okay, so my name's Mark Fishlock, head rep for the Smoke and Fire Festival in Malden. Uh, today we have the Great British Barbecue Open Freestyle going on. Teams will be turning in uh, midday. We have bird, uh, basically any bird. We can, you know, chicken, duck, anything. There, there are no restrictions on that. One o'clock we have ribs, and again, any ribs, pork, beef. Two o'clock we have pork, and then at three o'clock we have the beef round. Uh, again, all freestyle. They don't have to use a clamshell box. They can use any platter, any way they want to turn that in. The only restrictions we actually give the teams is that it can be carried by one person. I think with this competition, uh, it's, it's the creativity that the teams bring. The imagination as well is, is quite awesome and what they're actually doing on, on grills, out in the open, pretty basic instruments they have out there. But when you see those turnings that they're bringing in, really they are impressive. And, and I would say they are top restaurant grade is what they're turning in. When the public come around and see what these guys can do, I think it flares a lot of imagination from people. They can they really see what you can actually do. Um, so much more than, than just the basics. My name's Kevin Durant-Jones and I'm judging at the British Barbecue Freestyle Open Championships. Uh, it's really interesting because you never really know what you're going to get. So with SCA, KCBS, you kind of know what it's going to look like, you know what's going to be in the box. But sometimes it can be really delicate and kind of fine dining. And sometimes it can be huge and over the top uh, and exaggerated, the turn-ins. So it's, it's a really exciting format to judge and it really lets the team's creativity absolutely run wild and you can kind of, they can put their personality into the entries so much more than with some of the more structured formats. Yeah, all that being said, everything's still cooked on barbecues, it's cooked over fire, it's cooked over charcoal, wood and pellets in the way that all of the kind of really traditional barbecue contests are. What you get a lot with the freestyle is the combination of flavours and the combination of textures in, in the dish and how they're combined and put together. Also, how tasty it is, they're putting so many different elements together that all those things have all got to be good. They've all got to taste really good rather than just the one piece of brisket or the one chicken thigh. And it's all got to work together. And if just one of those pieces is, is off, then that's going to bring the score right down. These teams are going to turn in for all four rounds. They're going to turn in amazing entries uh, and everything will be combined together and there'll be a grand champion, reserve grand champion. Uh, and these guys will get the bragging rights that they deserve for two days of really hard effort. So all the categories are finished. Everybody has turned in their entries. We had some teams allow us to get a sneak into what they did. Now it's awards time. So we're gonna head over there and see how everybody did and who won this contest. And third place win, the career cowboy. on the
goes to Commander Renault. Grand champion 2023. Wow. Congratulations! Congratulations! Worthy winners, worthy winners!